Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett, and my hands is the Transformers 1 Optimus Prime, Orion Pax Mask, I guess we'd call it. Yeah, they just kind of like, yeah, Optimus Prime, Orion Pax, it's just, uh, yeah, it's kind of a, a mask. We've seen some masks before uh, with some previous releases. Uh, Rise of the Beast had some masks, uh, and I know they've, they've done a couple here and there since, but, you know, it's been interesting. The, the Rise of the Beast ones... Um, one was really, really good, and then one kind of pinched the nose. So I'm, I'm really intrigued by this. Like, I love the concept. Not a whole totally sold on the execution, if that makes sense, just because mostly the experience was kind of iffy on the, the some previous ones. Uh, as I said, one was great, and one was kind of eh. So let's see what this winds up being. I'm really kind of intrigued to see what we, what we got going on. Really in here. That's interesting. Yeah, this is like really taped in. in some annoying ways. Cool. You see here, I like rarely tear things like that, but this one is in the box. Strangely, I'm also not wearing my glasses right now because. I'm going to put on a mask. You know what? I should probably put on my mask uh, glasses and then I can take them off when I put the mask on. That would be actually intelligent. Um, what's also neat about these masks, uh, getting back to the topic, and me not just rambling, uh, the mask transform, which are actually kind of cool. So it's not just something you can wear, but, and like, you know, play and do whatever, but it actually winds up being a transformer. It's, it's, it's a great, as I said, it's a great concept. Um, I remember back in the day growing up, you used to get like masks that were like voice changing and, and stuff like that. But, you know, the idea of a transforming mask, I don't think it's been done before. I mean, it's probably been done before, but I don't remember growing up uh, it being done. So um, I think it's kind of cool. Great concept. As I said, I'll keep on saying it over and over and over again. On. I don't know why this has got so much. It's like an excessive amount of thick cords and stuff holding it on. And there's like cord, just like why, 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 why does this need to be done like this? <sighs> there's one over here for some unknown reason. Clearly, see, uh, you see, if you plan on getting this, spend some, plan on time of getting all the wires out of it. Like, holy crap, this is going to be like a 20 minute video just because of this. Right. I know you all hate me using these, but screw this. particularly do, but for some reason they felt it necessary to include them. So whatever. Alright, so let's do the first test of the actual putting the mask on. Let's see if it hurts the nose. Maybe I just don't have the right shape for this. And do the do it up. Oh, you yeah, have Optimus Prime. Um, all right, so I think it feels like very similar issues that we had with the Optimus Primal one. Like the nose piece just hurts. Like it's not not horrible, but it's not something I would want to wear for a really really long time. So, uh, in that way, 
kind of a bummer. We'll show it off. Like this nose piece, the rest of the mask is comfortable. This nose piece is not comfortable. I don't know what they were thinking with that, but it is what it is. Um, all right, let's see if we can transform this. We got our instructions. You might remember right, these were pretty easy in the past. Further down, and this bends like that. out this way. This. I guess this is basically it. I can tell. Yeah, I guess this is this is pretty much it. I mean it's it's a gimmicky goofy thing. It's interesting. They've got. Oh, I mean this. Yep, let's close up. show it off. I, this is kind of a fun gimmicky thing like as I said the kids will probably enjoy it maybe their nose doesn't get busted on it like mine was uh, being all pinchy. Um, you know it's it's not them. Let's see if it stands. The other ones could stand. I think they're, oh there we go we got standing. Ha <laughs> it stands. Um, there because this is actually pretty tall. Um, as I said, gimmicky thing, kind of fun, you know, it's, it's something different, you know, if a kid, kid wants to have a mask to play with, like, this is a neat option, and overall, like, it's, it's a, it's a interesting idea, like, I, I like, as I keep on saying, I like the concept, I'm not completely, I think, sold on the actual execution, but, uh, you know, not bad, like, it's, it's not bad, and it's, it's, there's something kind of fun about it. Um, yeah, so, it's interesting, I like the other masks, um, unfortunately, like, the nose is pinchy, as I, get, as I said, maybe for kids it's not gonna be that bad, but for, as an adult, it's, it's pretty pinchy, um, but you can get yours out in shops, we got a link beneath this video, uh, they are affiliate links, so we do get a small percentage by doing that, you'll support our site, so thank you, and speaking of support, I want to thank Hasbro for hooking us up with this, and thank you all for watching, uh, if you are to Transformers, check us out every day at graphicpolicy.com, uh, we're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, Instagram, TikTok, Mastodon, Threads, all stuff, all graphic policy, keep it nice and consistent, until next time, keep playing with your toys, 
and keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.